Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, cost of living in a van and stuff. Um, it just I just started to think about this because of I've run into a, f a few other van dwellers that are permanent um, uh, here in Vancouver and living permanently in their vans. And uh, when I'm talking to them, they're talking about always talking about saving money and yeah it's nice to save money and all but my intention originally was uh, not really to save money it was to, to get out and, and see the rest of the country and uh, you know before I can't anymore before I'm too old and I'm too crippled up and I can't walk and can't move and I wanted to go and, and visit things and see what to do so I, I never thought about the money part but in talking to um, other van dwellers that seems to be the situation in all cases like everyone has said they've moved into their van to save money it's the high cost of living here in Vancouver that's just horrendous uh, even in the news just the other day I saw where there some apartment block is doing some renovations and they want to raise the the uh, rent five uh, percent like it's just outrageous here as it is and they want to raise it five percent more again so anyway um the uh cost of living so we'll go through like uh for what i paid in the house when i lived in in medicine hat in alberta there and uh what i pay for in the van and we'll, we'll uh, see the differences so there's uh, like rent and food, utilities, phone, TV and internet, insurance, gas and miscellaneous this is what I have uh, set up to look at. So, okay, so for the house, I paid a very low rent when I lived in the house, I, $775 for rent in a sticks and bricks house in, in Alberta. And for a rent in my motorhome is zero I don't pay any rent uh, food I paid you know uh, food can go up and down it all depends on if you eat out a lot or not but I put the same for both I put down three hundred dollars that I would spend in a month for food and what have you it uh, could be less could be more it all depends on like I said what you're what you're eating and where you're eating utilities I didn't pay any utilities in a house uh, the landlord paid the utilities when I lived there and I pay zero for utilities living in my motorhome here. Uh, phone, a cell phone. Uh, when I lived in a house, I paid $35 a month for a cell phone. I can't remember how much data I had. Probably pretty minimal. Uh, so $35 a month for a cell phone in a house. And now I pay $40 a month. Uh, because I have different plans and they have a different phone I still have no data at all I have to be near Wi-Fi if I want to do some things on Wi-Fi some things work without Wi-Fi but I have uh, nationwide text and talk which I never had before so um, that changed a little bit then I have uh, TV and internet when I lived in the house I had uh, optic TV and I had uh, internet high-speed internet so I paid roughly $120 for, for that service. And here in the van, I don't have any TV, uh, but I still have a Rogers Rocket Hub, which I pay $60 a month for, uh, for five gigabytes of data. If I go over that, I'm in the next category, it's 10 gigabytes for $75, and uh, it goes up to uh, $145 for 100 gigabytes of data, If I and then, so much per gigabyte after that uh, insurance when I lived in the house I didn't have this van I had a truck the truck was uh, insured for uh, roughly I think it was $120 a month for uh, insurance on my my truck uh, a GMC half ton uh, for insurance for my motorhome it's $55 a month so I'm saving quite a bit there 
gasoline. The gasoline depends on where you're going, what you're doing. When I first started to travel on the road, I was paying a lot for gas because I was always on the move, going to the next city and going to the next city. Now that I'm here in Vancouver, I'm pretty static. I don't move around as much. If, if I do move, it's not very far. It's just a few kilometers out here and there. So uh, when I lived in my house, the uh, in, uh, gasoline cost me, I put down $240 on the paper here. Uh, it could be more, could be less, all depends on, like I said, I walked to work quite a bit at first there until we moved uh, uh, out near the airport and I had to drive back and forth, gasoline was more, but $240 I estimated for gasoline. Uh, living in the van here, uh, I estimated 360 so that's gone up, but I'm doing, I'm in my home, which is on wheels, and wherever I go, I have to uh, start the van up and, and move, so the gasoline went up. Then I put down uh, miscellaneous things like toiletries and toothpaste and uh, maybe the odd shirt and pants or whatever I needed here and there. Uh, miscellaneous on both, I put down $150 a month for miscellaneous items and objects. So in the house, um, if you add it all up, the total came to seven, seven, uh, $1,750. Uh, $1,740 I, I spent per month and then I estimated from that to $2,000 a month depending on how things went, is how much I paid per month living in my house. In the van it's $965 um, and I estimated up to $1,300 per month to live in my my van which is like a difference of $800 so I am saving $800 a month by living in my in my motor home and uh, it, it's like I said I never went in moved into the motor home just to save money uh, although I see now yes that it I am saving money um, I, I did it to um, like see the rest of my country and go places and meet people and do things and before I get seized up, I've, I've had a few friends in Medicine Hat that just seemed they were like getting old and they didn't want to go anywhere, didn't want to do anything. They sat at home and uh, before you know it, they just uh, seize up and they can't go anywhere and can't do anything. And I didn't want that. I, I wanted to get out and see things and, and do things. So um, that's it in a nutshell. Uh, what I spent in a house per month and what I spent in my van per month. So if I even take the maximum of $2,000 a month uh, for uh, my in, living in the house, what is that? $24,000 to live in a house for a year. And... Uh, Thirteen thousand, thirteen thousand two hundred and sixty. There, thirteen thousand, up to fifteen thousand, to live in a, a my motorhome per year. And uh, the government doesn't give me very much, so my my income has gone down by, well, at least four times from what I get now to what I used to get when I worked. Uh, so when I worked, I got X amount of dollars. Now it's four times less, less than that. So it's that part has dropped, and I have to worry about uh, what I buy, when I buy it, so that I don't like overspend. I, I have money in the bank that I keep there for specific things, like if something happens to my van, breaks down. It could be something, in, it's like in your house, it breaks down, you've got to get it fixed or buy a new one and the same thing living here in, in the van. If something breaks down, I, I have to get it fixed. I can't just um, leave it uh, parked. I can't just park on the st street and have it, things broken down. So uh, if anybody is wondering what it costs to live for, for me to live in my van, those are the numbers. Uh, what it cost me to live in the house those are the numbers uh, from 17 to 2000, 
and in the van was a 9 to 13 so I, I do have a significant saving uh, it's not four times the difference in saving but it's it's almost uh, almost double so uh, thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you on the next one